Hey guys, today I'd like to talk to you about one of the most important, albeit most neglected by the industry, tools for time-lapse photographers, the intervalometer. The intervalometer is a tool that didn't change much since I've started shooting time-lapse and that's been 10 years ago. Still we have those very very simple tools on the market that yeah, do not much more than just release your camera every couple of seconds. They have an awkward user interface, they are limited in their options and they are quite slow because they insist in triggering the autofocus of the camera for one or more seconds. That's why I came to the conclusion that the only way would be to develop an own intervalometer and I started doing that as a free open source project and the result was the Alert Timelapse Pro Timer Free. You can build this one for yourself following the instructions on my website. Fortunately you have to solder a little bit, you have to source the components and so on. That's why many people ask me if I wouldn't like to make a commercial version of this timer which would be available for buying. After one more year of development now I'm really really happy to be able to introduce the LRT Pro Timer 2.5. It's much smaller than the free version, it's much lighter and it has a lot of additional features. And I like to talk to you today about why this little tool is so much better for time-lapse photographers than everything else that you can currently buy on the market. First of all, I've tried to make this timer as user-friendly as possible. So there is only one knob that you can turn to select the values or the menu items and then you can press it to select or you can long press it to go back. So that's it, as easy as it can be. And this makes it possible to even operate the timer with gloves or mittens. So you can just turn, click, turn, no problem. Of course, speaking about mittens, it works up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. So even in very cold conditions, you will be able to operate this timer and uh, see the display. Programming a time-lapse is as easy as it could be. You just select the time-lapse M mode, because usually you will set your camera into M mode when shooting time-lapse. So then you click and select the interval. Then you click once more to select the number of shots or just leave it at unlimited. You will get another screen showing you the settings and click once more and the time-lapse will begin. And you will see on the display what's going on. If you turn the knob once you'll see another screen. And if you turn it again the screen will get blank. That's especially useful when shooting during the night because you won't have any illumination then from the timer apart from the single pixel that will light up to indicate your shutter release. Turn again and you will be on your main shooting screen. The LRT Pro Timer has two camera connectors which you can use to connect two cameras in parallel or you can use the second connector to trigger your motion control equipment in slave mode which is also very useful. You can buy those cables for nearly every camera on the market. It's the same cables that other intervalometers also use. The battery lasts at least 24 hours when fully charged. So this is mostly enough for any time lapse, but you can also use your USB power bank to just power the timer for longer times. The display is an organic LED display which has been chosen for readability. You can read it very well in dark conditions when shooting the stars, for example, but also in bright sunlight. The LRT Pro Timer will always show you 
all information that you need to know about while setting up and while shooting. You will never ever have to calculate any values anymore because you will see the remaining shots, you will see the remaining time, you will see the length of the video shot and so on. All that information will always be present on that display. You will have no limits when programming your intervals, when programming the number of shots and the LRT Pro timer will allow you to set your intervals and exposure times and so on in steps of 0.1 seconds, not as other timers in full second steps only. One feature that's very useful is the interval ramping. You can use it to gradually change your interval from one value to another value. For example, if you're shooting a sunset, you would maybe start with an interval of six seconds. But then after the sun set and the stars come up, you would like to have a longer interval, for example, 16 seconds. What you could do with the LRT Pro timer is define a time in which the timer would gradually change your interval from six to 16 seconds. Let's say in the time of one hour. To do that, while shooting, you just press the knob once and go into the interval ramping menu, press again. Now you can select the time that it will take to ramp. For example, you would like to do the ramping in 60 minutes and then you can just set the destination interval, 10 seconds, and now the timer will start changing your interval from 4 in this case to 10 seconds in the next hour. This is very useful because it allows you to make changes to your interval without it looking weird in the final time-lapse result. Time shooting will allow you to just set a starting date and time for your time-lapse so that you can plan future shots and the timer will then launch that shot with the predefined settings whenever the starting time has been reached. Any setting that you set here in the timer will be saved to the internal memory. And this also goes for the intervals that you would like to have as default or the number of shots and so on. Everything can be saved to the internal memory so the next time you power up the timer you will already have your presets uh, defined and can use them as a starting point. While most of the intervalometers that you can buy just hang down from your camera or tripod, the LRT Pro timer brings some nice ways to attach it to the camera. The easiest would be to just put it on the flash mount. This way it will point to the front. Mostly you would rather have it pointing to the back of the camera just for you to be able to program the timer. If you set up your camera low to the ground, it might be more useful to have the timer attached like this because then you have the display pointing up and that would be easier to see. Another option would be this little loop here where you can just pass a velcro through to fix it on your tripod if you prefer that. And there's another little loop on the other side next to the power switch which you can use to put a leash through or whatever you want. From the shooting menu you can also reach a flashlight tool which is very useful when shooting during the night because it will allow you to turn your OLED screen into a small flashlight. Trust me, this is really enough to light up a foreground. When shooting time-lapse during the night, uh, most of the lamps will be way too bright because you will be operating your camera with ISO 3200 or higher and uh, long exposure times, so every little lamp will be very bright. But not this OLED. It will be perfect to illuminate a little bit of your foreground to just 
get some structure out of it in some situations. And last but not least, the RT Pro Timer is the most performant intervalometer that I know. All of the industry intervalometers will insist in sending an out of focus signal to your camera before each shot and this will slow down everything. As soon as the camera gets the out of focus signal it normally turns off any activity. It will clear the screen, it will stop writing to the memory card and so on because it expects the next shot to come. If such a timer sends a one second out of focus signal it will be just one second that you don't have to watch your preview, you don't have to control your camera, that you will be missing to do shorter intervals as well. Whenever you aim to shoot perfect time lapses, you should go for long exposure times and rather short intervals, which will leave you with only a short dark time. And this dark time will be very important to be able to control the camera, to be able to see what the camera is capturing and so on. If you have one second out of focus time, reducing your dark time, this is something that is really annoying. Instead, the LRT Pro Timer deals with such things in a very smart way. It will only send the minimum out of focus time that's absolutely necessary. But it will also take care of the specifics of mirrorless cameras, for example, which tend to go to sleep when shooting very long intervals. So the LRT Pro Timer will detect this and will wake up the camera before sending the next shutter release signal. It's just have a look about the comparison and performance between a regular timer and the LRT Pro timer. I've used a four second interval here and two second exposure, so we have a two second dark time in this example. And you can see with the industry timer on the left, you barely get any preview because the autofocus signal shuts the camera down before the next shot comes up. And on the right, the RT Pro Timer just allows the preview to stay much longer and only triggers the camera when it's absolutely necessary. The LRT Pro Timer also allows you to shoot with very, very short intervals. For example, you can shoot with a 0.5 seconds interval and an exposure time of 0.2 seconds, for example, and this will only be a dark time of 0.5 three seconds, especially for very fast movements like northern lights and so on, this could be quite handy. I'm really happy that I've managed to bring this little device that I really love to work with to the market so that you guys can also enjoy this precious tool for time-lapse photography if you want to. You can get them at Amazon.com, Amazon.de and so on. Just check out my website where you will find the ways how to source them. The cool thing here is this is a tool which I can constantly improve via firmware updates. I've already done a couple of updates in the last weeks and months and I will be constantly improving that timer with my ideas but also with your ideas. That's why I set up a user forum where you can file your feature requests, your ideas for improvements. I still see this whole project as a community project with a goal to have one of the best tools for time-lapse photography and we all will take profit of that. Thank you for watching and see you soon on alerttimelapse.com. Bye bye!